tail of the third bird. Among the fragmentary apilia ascribed to the fourth century Latin rhetorician Osonius, we find an embellished retelling of Pliny's well-known story of Zeuxis and the painting of the child carrying grapes. Natural History, Book 35, Section 36. There, recall, Pliny recounts the great painter's frustration that the birds pecked at the fruit in the picture, since he takes that as proof that the boy in the picture is less well executed than his harvest. If I had done a better job on the figure, the birds would have been too frightened to approach, declares the old artist disgustedly. The pseudo-Osonian version of this classic episode in the history of mimesis goes as follows in a prose translation. It's said that Zeuxis went back to work on the painting in the hopes of improving the child, and that when he put this new work outside to dry, he hid himself in the bushes to watch. And we're told that he saw three birds approach. One, making for the grapes, seemed suddenly to notice the boy and flew off with a squawk. The second, similarly drawn to the fruit, disregarded their guardian entirely and pecked furiously at the illusory meal. But the third stopped before the tablet and stood in the sandy courtyard looking fixedly at the image, seemingly lost in thought. What a curious bird, mumbled Zuxus, but the bird did not move. Now that text tells us a little something of the birds and their preoccupations with fixed attention to works of art. And today we're going to talk about a figure who was an early 20th century associate of the community, namely Martin Bialik, shown here in about 1900. Now, Martin Bialik is a fascinating character, and you're going to hear more about him. My colleague Sonali Chakravarti and Leonard Nalens are going to give you a brief biography and present some primary source material upon which the editorial committee's at work. So you'll hear about his fascinating life. Above all, the period of time that he spent in Central Asia um, with the third Oral Stein expedition. Now, I'm not going to take much more of your time. Suffice it only to say this figure was related to the order, and you're going to hear a little bit more about that. And before things are over, you'll have a chance, if you wish, to experiment with one of the exercises that uh, Martin Bialik developed for training people to look at works of art in a, shall we say, peculiar and Ultimately, I think a number of us think powerful way. We would like this afternoon to offer all of you in this room an opportunity to undertake the practice which we've just been exploring from a scholarly vantage. And so if you look on the back of your card, as we've seen, you'll see there an outline of the practice, movement by movement. My colleague and I will review that practice, and then for those of you who would like to undertake it, which will take 10 or 12 minutes in the museum, we'll divide into small groups and proceed from there. But let us first review the protocol. The exercise of the trochilus. And a note for those wishing to attempt this exercise, each movement should be allotted a fixed duration of not less than three minutes. The hands should be free and the body unburdened. Silence and focus are essential. The first movement, aspect, 
at the gate. Assume a position before the made thing. Uh, uh, regard it without moving. The second movement. Aspect, ascending the path. Find the door in the work. Become this door. The third movement. Aspect, fleeing the gatekeeper. Remain exactly so, even as you depart. Bear the door being of the work in your flesh. And remember, the third movement does not end until the practitioner passes through a material door. Until this time, all nearby things and persons will communicate their door being to the practitioner. We turn now to logistics, but a word of caution before we do so. We live in a world partitioned by doors, rooms, and buildings. We enter and exit freely. We know where the doors are. We know what it means to pass through them. They partition uh, the ordinary segments of our lives. This protocol entertains the idea that in every being, in every object, there is a door. And we ask you to invest yourself in that idea that every being has a door. We will not, in this exercise, we will not ask anyone in this room to pass through that door but we will ask you to confront it. So if I've understood correctly what uh, is wanted at this point, <clears throat> uh, there's no obligation to participate. So those of you wishing to take 10 minutes and go into the museum and actually give this a try, that is to say, to look at a work, it's pre-selected work, we have a work that we've chosen, you can walk, small group, to the work and you'll spend nine minutes looking at that work, those three phases, and you'll spend the second of those phases attempting to see or perceive or access the door nature of that work, and then as you move yourself away from it, you will be, and uh, I'm not a person inclined to the hooby dooby, I have to say, so um, I'll just say that uh, it was interesting to feel uh, a number of things speaking to me of their door nature uh, as I made my way from that thing and until such time as I passed through a door. So um, you don't have to, uh, but I think what we should probably do is, um, you know, if you want to go now and you don't want to make the, the birds among us feel sad, we'll sort of take a moment to close our eyes and turn away. You can uh, depart, but, but uh, this is the moment to depart, otherwise, uh, We'll uh, gather up and take 10 minutes looking under the spirit of the uh, Trochilus exercise. Hi. Excuse me. Hello, 
again. Thank you so much for coming out with us. I hope you had a wonderful time at MoMA. P. S. 1. It was a very special Sunday session. It was special for us, and I hope it was special for you, too. I hope you managed to see everything today. Otherwise, you have to go to Paris. And I'm so sorry, I just forgot, I need to thank some very special people from here at MoMA. one Jenny Schlenska for curating Mike Skinner for producing Alex Sloan also for producing and from Palais de Tokyo Victoria Manatrezi for her curating. <laughs> and Rebecca Lamarche Fidel for her curating as well. One moment, please. <laughs> We'd like to thank Nora, our assistant, and for our sponsors, Volkswagen of America and Absolute. I thank you, everybody, for coming today. Please take all of your belongings when you leave. We are probably going to be kicked out in a couple minutes by MoMA. PS1. We are Davide, I mean a piece by Davide. Thank you very much for coming.